Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The three most important technology in next generation submarines will be AIP, Air Independent Propulsion, Lithium Ion Batteries and Pump Jet Technology. While AIP and Lithium Ion Batteries improves the endurance and improve the ability to stay underwater for long time, the pump jet technology improves the submarine's propulsion speed and at the same time make it quieter and stealthier. The pump jet technology is mainly used in nuclear powered submarines, however, they can also be used in conventional submarines. In today's video, we are going to talk about the pump jet technology as we have already made a detailed video on AIP and lithium ion batteries. In case you have missed, please check the description section. First, the pump jet intakes water from the bottom of the hull which is further accelerated to produce uniform and high velocity of jet stream. The jet stream exits from a steering nozzle which converts the energy of jet stream into a powerful forward thrust. The water jet and hydraulics are powered by a marine engine. The pump jet propulsion system creates a jet of water to power a submarine forward. A pump jet or a hydrojet produces less cavitation which is the stream of bubbles or voids created by traditional propellers. Less cavitation means even lower acoustic signature for the submarines. With this kind of propulsion technology, there is no need to reverse the propeller unlike conventional propeller for backward motion or to stop it. When you compare pump jet propellers with conventional one, they are much faster and quieter. However, at slow speed, conventional propellers are more silent. This is the reason why it is preferred for heavy nuclear attack submarines which needs more speed and power. Under the Project 25 Alpha, the Indian Navy aims to procure new nuclear attack submarine SSN. The Government of India had approved the construction of six such submarines in February 2015. These will be designed by Navy's in-house Directorate of Naval Design and Built in India at Shipbuilding Center at Shakapatnam. The construction is expected to start on 2023 or 24, while the first submarine is expected to enter service by 2032. These submarines are going to be next generation submarine with miniaturized pressure water reactor hull from Mishra Dhatu Nigam and pump jet propulsion from DRDO. DRDO has already started working on the pump jet technology for submarines which requires two important modules. The first is the marine engine and the second one is the pump jet. If you look at the USA Virginia class submarine, it is powered by one nuclear reactor of 210 megawatt, two steam turbines of 30 megawatt and one primary and one secondary pump jet propulsion motor. This propulsion helps to drive submarine of 11,000 ton at a speed of 25 knots or 46 kilometers per hour. DIDO is also working on a pump jet propulsion which will have electrical engine motor that can generate power of 525 kilowatt. DIDO is using the learning from the pump jet technology used in torpedoes to develop this prototype. This prototype will be scalable to massive 35 megawatt of power. DIDO is planning to develop one for prototype one for qualification test and two for actual evaluation and usage. It is driving this project via its technological development fund which will be collaboration of public or private firms together with foreign firms not having stake more than 49%. BHEL also has experience in developing and deploying 20 megawatt motors. Going by the progress made in this area the pump jet propulsion can be easily developed indigenously. However, there is more to nuclear attack submarines and it's related to miniaturized nuclear reactor which we will discuss in detail in our next video. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector